Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Just click the words show more to expand the video description. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up on an insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. For this exercise, I'm going to test my timing with decision making just for practice for when I play in a tournament. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. I consider myself to be an advanced player, so under two minutes I think is a good guideline. If you're an intermediate player, try for under three minutes, and if you're a beginner, try for under four minutes. And then to improve yourself, push yourself to go into the other thresholds. Like if you're a beginner, try to make decisions in under three minutes. And if you're intermediate, try to make decisions in under two minutes. Eventually you'll get there and you'll see an improvement in your decision making. I guarantee it. Let's do some sprints. I have my tiles out and they have been mixed. I also have a stopwatch on my phone that I'm going to use. We're just going to say that I am the dealer. So I'm going to take 14 random tiles and then I'm going to create the Charleston. Now, when you do this at home, make sure that you don't have any jokers in here because you don't want to burn through time by grabbing replacements. So take a quick peek through these tiles and just replace any jokers in there and mix them up. That way you can keep it spontaneous in case you remember what's in there. Try to play as if you don't know what is in there. This is not an exact science. It's just really good practice. So there's our Charleston and here's our dealt hand as it were. So let's get started. Start. All right, multiples, three, nine. I'm thinking a three, six, nine hand. Three, six, nine. So I'm gonna keep all the three six nines I can get. I'm going to hold that white and the dragon. Let's pass these three. Actually, let's break that up. Let's pass those. Okay, three six nine. We're going to keep every three six nine we can. All right, let's pass these three. That way we're not passing like numbers. Okay, that's not helpful, and I hope I would never get a pass like that. Goodness sake. That's almost as passing a pung. Okay, here we go. 369, that's what we're looking for. Any 369. Here's a 3 and a 6. So we're going to keep it. We still don't have to pick a hand because we have tiles that we can pass. I'm going to go ahead and pass the white dragon. Here's a 6 and a 9. We have two tiles to pass. Now we pick a hand. Here's three, six, nine, three. What about three, six, nine with nines? Basically, it's the second from the bottom or the one on the bottom. Let's give up on this three bam. I don't want to get stuck with like numbers or a pair. Okay, there's a three and a dragon. Let's pass it. There's a three dot and a flower. Let's pass these three. Lap. Okay, so here's how we left off. We have flowers, three, six, nine, a nine, and joker bait. Two discards. Two discards with joker bait. I think that's pretty good. I would probably try for the three six nine third one down. Two flowers, Kongs of three six nine, and then I probably would throw those and hold these for joker bait. So during the game, if anybody puts out an exposure with a joker and three bams, 
I can use these to maybe get a joker into my own hand. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. Let's move on to sprint two. Okay, we're ready for sprint two, 14 tiles. Here we go. We're gonna do sprint two now. Okay, we got a lot of one, two, three. I'm thinking consecutive with ones, twos, and threes. So let's get rid of the eight. Look at all the one, two, three right here. One, two, three. We could even play maybe a year hand. Let's go ahead and get rid of these three here. There's a one, two, three. We're gonna have to probably make a decision already. White, east, west. One, two, three with twos in the middle. I think that's what it's gonna have to be. So let's throw these three. One, two, three with twos in the middle. Okay, there's a three dot. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and pass that white dragon. Okay, there's a flower. We are right across left. We're now in the optional crossing. One, two, three, we have no gaps. I'm gonna go ahead and pass a flower. I do this very rarely, but I wanna get to these other tiles because I wanna pull in some more options, or not options, but I want more three dots. Oh no, another flower, shoot. We gotta pass another flower, darn it. I'm really hoping that sacrifice was worth it. I want a three dot. Darn, no three dot. Let's pass two, we'll pass one blind. Okay, clap. All right, one, two, three with twos in the middle. We have two discards and joker bait with the flowers. This hand is the uh, second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Kong of one, pairs of twos, Kong of three. The one, two, three, the ones and threes are Kongs, twos, pairs of twos in the middle. That was a really good Charleston, two discards with joker bait. So if anybody puts out an exposure of flowers with jokers, we could maybe get a joker into our hand using these flowers. Okay, let's do sprint three. Okay, 14 random tiles. Oh, we need to check for jokers. Okay, the multiples are the ones here. One. I'm thinking one little odds. Look at all the ones we have. One, three, five. So let's go ahead and throw building around the ones. Let's throw those three right there. Little odds. Or we could even play maybe, oh, let's throw those. Maybe we could play like numbers. There's a flower. Let's pass these three. There's a one and a three. Now we have to pick a hand. When you run out of discards, that's when you pick a hand. So we have one, three, one, three, five. One, three, one, three, five. And we wanna use these flowers though. I think we should play one, three, five with flowers. One, three, five with flowers or like numbers. Let's pass these three. We wanna leverage these flowers here. We can pass those. Pass those. There's a three. I don't think that's gonna help though. Oh, there's a one. Let's keep that for potential like numbers and pass those for optional cross. Okay. So we have one, three, five with flowers, which is basically the fourth hand down. And we don't need all the flowers. We're, we could probably get rid of that. 
if we play one, three, five with flowers. We would have six discards if that's the hand we played. If we played like numbers with flowers, we would have six discards. If we played the like number hand with the dragons, then we would also have six discards. So I would hold these and see which comes in. We're in between little odds and like numbers, and these are discards. So I think that was a good Charleston also. Three discards is really a good indicator of a good Charleston. We do have options though. Technically we have six discards, but we have three discards with options. Let's see how things went with timing. I think I had good timing today. Sprint one, two minutes, four seconds. So over the guideline there. Sprint two, one minute, 48. Sprint three, one minute, 47. So that was a pretty good average, under two minutes. I think that's a really good goal. And if you play in tournaments, I think this is a great skill to build on making quick decisions. That way, if you're playing and you run over time and can't score a hand, it's not going to be your fault. You won't feel that pressure or that guilt. Practice making good decisions, quick decisions, and you'll feel better for it, especially under pressure at a tournament. Let me know what you think about this exercise. Write it in the comment section, and if you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know your results. Remember, it's under two minutes for an advanced player, under three minutes for an intermediate player, and under four minutes for a beginner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities where you might gain a new insight into the game or maybe learn a new strategy that could give you an advantage at the table. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for subscribing. I'm so glad you've joined this community. I think we can really help each other out in learning this game. There's always new things to learn, even for advanced players. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.